Hi everybody, this is Mr. Kenyon, and I just love perpendicular bisectors of triangles. This is a great geometry lesson. Let's go ahead and begin. So here's some theorems. Uh, in a plane, if a point is on the perpendicular bisector of a segment, okay, here's a picture of that. Okay, here's this point right here, this point right here. Here's the perpendicular bisector, because it's going down, it's making a right angle right there. Okay, and it's bisecting it, so it's a perpendicular bisector of this segment. This segment is blue right there, so it's bisecting that segment. So if a point is on that perpendicular bisector, then it's equidistant to the endpoints of the segment. That's what that means. Then that point is the same distance over here as it is over here. As long as it's on this perpendicular bisector. If I picked a point right there, it would equal this distance right here would equal the same as that distance. Any point that's on that perpendicular bisector is the same distance away to the endpoints of the segment. Okay? And this says vice versa, you guys. If a point is equidistant to the endpoints of a segment, then it must be on the perpendicular bisector. All right, so line BD is the perpendicular bisector of uh, AC. Okay, so AC. All right, find AD. Okay, well, since... Uh, uh, since uh, this is the perpendicular bisector right there, then C and A uh, uh, are going to be, I'm sorry, this, this point right up here, this point D is going to be equidistant to that endpoint and to that endpoint right there. So I can set this 5x equal to that 3x plus 4 right there. All right, and you get x equals 7. And then be careful, you guys, it's asking for AD, so I'm going to plug in uh, 7 right there. You can plug in 7 right there also. I know they're congruent, but it's easier to plug in 7 right there. 5 times 7 is 35. Okay, uh, this time line JK is the perpendicular bisector of NL. Uh, okay, so here's segment NL right there. So that means uh, because this is the perpendicular bisector, that this segment equals this segment right here because K is equidistant to both endpoints right there. So 6x, uh, oh, explain uh, what, ha what segment lengths are equal, NK and LK are equal. And over here, you guys, since these guys are both have 8s on them, then uh, MN and ML are also equal. Okay, that's easy enough. All right, and then find NK. I'm going to set uh, 6x minus 5 equal to 4x plus 1. I get x equals 3. And then uh, i got to plug in 3 into NK right here. So 6 times 3 is 18. 18 minus 5 is 13. Now explain why M is on this perpendicular bisector because these eights they're equidistant to the two endpoints. So M N is congruent to M L. It's equidistant to both endpoints, so it has to be on the perpendicular bisector. That's that theorem that we just did. All right, so here's some definitions. When three or more lines intersect at the same point, they are called concurrent. So those three lines are concurrent because they intersect right there, and it's called the point of concurrency. Okay, that's the point of concurrency. All right, three perpendicular bisectors of a triangle, they are concurrent. They all intersect in the same spot. If you perpendicularly bisected all three sides of the triangle, it would intersect in the center right there. Not in the center, but inside the triangle. Excuse me. And the point of concurrency is equidistant to the vertex of each of the triangle, to each vertex. Okay, so here's a, a perpendicular bisector right here. Can you see, can you imagine this right angle right here? Okay, okay, and can you see that this side equals this side? Can you see this imaginary right angle right there and that this side equals this side? So that would be a perpendicular bisector. And then here's another right angle right here and this side equals this side. So this, all the blue guys are perpendicular bisectors. And what this theorem is saying is that uh, this point of concurrency right here is the same distance to that vertex, to that vertex, and to that vertex right there. That's what this says right here. All right. Okay, so um, uh, the point of concurrency of the perpendicular bisectors, it's called the circumcenter because there's a circle that goes around them. And I'll show you right here. If I drew all the perpendicular bisectors of all the triangles, this, this ends up being the center of the circle that can go around and touch all the vertices right there. Okay, if I drew, see here's a right angle right here. And then for this line right here, there's a right angle right there. And then for this line, there's a right angle right there. There's all the perpendicular bisectors right there is the circumcenter of the circle that would go around that triangle right there. Similarly right there, there's the circumcenter because it's perpendicularly bisecting. There's my right angle right there, and then I got another right angle right there. 
Okay, so those are all circumcenters right there. All right, if y is the circumcenter of ABC, which means perpendicular bisector, circumcenter, find each length. Okay, and so I have some lengths in there. Let's go look for length CF. Okay, CF. All right, CF. All right, since it's a perpendicular bisector, then this, this side equals this side, so this is going to be 13 right there. Okay, and then YC. Okay, YC, this circumcenter, is at the same distance from that vertex to that vertex, oops, there it is, it's 15, and then also to that vertex, uh, uh, AY. So, so I know that uh, uh, it's going to be 15, and let's go ahead and get number 4, because AY is also equal to 15, and then DB is right here for number uh, 3. DB is uh, uh, 14, because it's the same as that 14 right there. Okay, looks confusing, but it's really not, you guys. All right, and we're done with this lesson. Okay.